Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here. I didn't say number 46 of giggling. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Confessions of a Giggler. Um, I am here today. Just went and got some more tool, which you will see in a future vlog for um, the tutus for the 5K that I talked about yesterday. Anyway, um, so what I want to talk about today is not 5K related, but it is, um, I guess I will go. It's like a four-way stop and no one ever knows which way to, you know, who to go first. Anyway, let me pause until I get out of this parking lot. Okay, I'm back. Um, so what I want to talk about is yesterday was the 11th anniversary of my very first Big Time Rush concert. So I wanna talk about that today um, because it was such a fun, fun time. And I'm pretty sure that um, I've talked about this before. I don't know when, like uh, probably in one of, the, one of the days when I was vlogging every day two years ago, I'm sure I gave my Big Time Rush story on the concert and stuff um but I think that I like included it in like a longer story and so this is just going to be about the concert so Court and I um we went to the concert because I saw that their VIP price was 190 and it came with the sound check and a meet and greet and like all kinds of like stuff um, like a swag bag or whatever and the concert seat within the first like 10 rows or something and I thought that that was just the great the greatest like um, thing ever and I totally just missed my turn but that's okay we'll just <laughs> we'll just drive around it's fine um, <laughs> oh brother um, so yeah, this is not where I'm supposed to turn either. I, I don't know. I'm the worst. I hate Delaware. <laughs> oh my God. Is there a light at that exit? I think there is. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah. Okay, good. There's a light. Because if there was no light, then I was finding another way. Because I'm not making a left out to that room. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, so the VIP was 190 and I thought that, that was a steal because it came with the concert ticket and that in and of itself could cost more than 190 right? I mean, think about how much we're paying now for these seats and it's just the seat. Um, so huge bargain, huge bargain. And I was like, I mean, Isabella told me to watch the show and I think it's funny. Um, and you know i it's a good it's a good show i enjoy them so i was like court should we go and she was like i mean i don't know i was like it is the vip is a steal <laughs> and, and she was like yeah you're right i think we should probably go <laughs> because at that time we were only doing backstreet boys things this was 2012 so we were only doing backstreet boys things and even back then, like, B Backstreet Boys VIP, um, like, did not come with the concert ticket. It was, you have to buy them separate. And, I mean, which is how most things are. <laughs> so, uh, we were like, we, we need to do it. We we're just going to do it, and it will be fun. And the only place that still had, like, VIP available was Vegas. It was the very first show of the Better With You tour. And we were like, well, let's just do it. Let's do it. So we went, <laughs> Court and I went to Vegas. Uh, Jerry came with us, obviously. She didn't go to the concert. She just went to Vegas. Um, and I remember being so sick. I was so sick. <laughs> like, I was not even this sick when I had, when I had the COVID. <laughs> like, I just remember being miserable. I didn't know, like, I didn't realize I was sick before we left. Um, but on the, that was like the worst plane ride I've ever had in my life. And for some reason we connected. So I had to do the up and down part twice. It was just awful, 
awful. And when we got to Vegas, I just like went to the CVS and bought like NyQuil or something <laughs> and slept. I just slept the whole time we were there, except for when it was time to go to the concert. <laughs> so I obviously rallied for the concert because how could you not? I You always rally for the concert and you know, back in 2012, it wasn't a big deal if you went out and about sick. No one really cared. <laughs> now people look at you and judge you and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just have allergies. <laughs> But back then it was like what ups. Um, anyway, so I don't even know what I had. I was just miserable, <laughs> like so congested. And if you see, if you see my meet and greet picture, um, my eyes are so swollen and like <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. But anyway, um, we went to to the VIP and they they did their little acoustic set man I was like wow they're good we were like they're, they're really good <laughs> um yeah it was we were impressed we were very much impressed with with the talent of the big time rushes <laughs> um so sorry I need my I need my, my caffeine um so we were so we were so impressed and then we got our like we got our tickets for the concert because when they do the vip with a ticket you don't know where you're sitting until you get your like until you check in for vip and then they give you the ticket so we were in like the fourth row but it was on the side so like it was like you know like a theater type thing so we were all the way to the side so we were basically the front row, um, <laughs> like fourth row, but there was like nothing really in front of us. So that was really cool. So we were up close and personal for the concert and we were having a, a blast. It was so much fun. You know, there's a lot, a lot of high energy songs that Big Time Rush sings. So there's a lot of jumping up and down, which I was better at that at, 26 and I am at 37 <laughs> um but Courtney and I were just having a blast and then they sang no idea and it was just over I was that was it I was I was sold and now I've been on this roller coaster for the last 11 years and um I wouldn't change a thing about it like we have had so many freaking incredible moments in our lives because of Big Time Rush. Um, you know, just, <laughs> I'm getting a little emotional. Oh my gosh. So it was just like, I don't even know how my life would have gone from that moment on if I didn't go to that one concert because I would have liked Big Time Rush, I would have enjoyed them, but going and seeing them live, seeing No Idea, just like the acoustic set at the beginning, meeting them, I totally missed, I totally skipped the meet and greet. Um, I like shook their hands like a moron, like <laughs> why didn't I give them hugs? Like so stupid. Um, <laughs> like I went down the line. I'm pretty sure I met James Maslow first. And I was just like, oh my God, how is this man better looking in person? I do not understand. <laughs> I do not understand what, like, cause he is very attractive on TV and in pictures and stuff. But <sighs> when you see him in real life, you're like, what the heck? How are you, how are you real? <laughs> like it's mind blowing. <laughs> um, and I remember Courtney said that like Logan, like say her name or something. And they were just like, and they were just so, so sweet, like such nice people. And we were just like, Oh my God. And Courtney. So originally Isabella, um, who helped us become, well, she influenced us to become Big Time Rush fans back when she was like five and we were 20-somethings. <laughs> and um, 
she like influenced us to be Big Time Rush fans and she assigned us all favorites so she told me that Kendall was my favorite and um, that stuck and um, then she told Courtney that Carlos was her favorite but then after Logan sang Courtney's name or whatever the heck he did a little sing song for her at the meet and greet she that was it Logan was top guy <laughs> and wow she, yeah she still loves Logs um, so yeah they're just they're just the best I mean they really are so fu so fun and if you've never been to a Big Time Rush concert you should definitely consider going this summer um, to the Can't Get Enough tour it's going to be so much fun their new song Can't Get Enough is out now they have a whole bunch of other new songs out um, you know recent stuff my personal favorite is Honey um, I think that, that that one is so much fun uh, a lot of their songs are so much fun and also they are to me they're one of those groups that um, all of their music kind of gets a boost when you see it live like it's good on the on the album on the track or whatever you want to call it um, but once you see the stuff live like it really elevates <laughs> made a little higher <laughs> It really elevates their music when they do it live because they just have so much energy that oozes out of them. Um, this is why I love live music so much because it just makes everything so much better. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Big Time Rush. So that was basically my first Big Time Rush concert experience was me and Court 10 years, 12, whatever, 11 years ago, 2012. In Las Vegas, the first show. So we were at their first headlining show and then the last one before their break, and that was really pretty cool. Um, and it's not like something I planned. It's not like, yes, I need to be at the first one just in case I become a mega fan and I can say that I was at the first one. <laughs> no, it was just like, oh, well, this one's uh, available and it's around President's Day, so we could go <laughs> you know um so yeah I mean obviously it had a they had a really great impression on us because over a hundred big time rush events later like that's including all of their solo endeavors and um all the things like we have gone to everything like Kendall's like I'm gonna do a meet and greet at a gas station we're like yep we'll be there <laughs> James Maslow gets a bus. Sure, we're there. Carlos did a signing at the bookstore. We went to that. Oh, he went to an Apple store, too. I didn't even like Apple products. You know how I feel about that. And yet, I still went, and I supported little Carlos at his Apple event. <laughs> and <laughs> Logan, Logan did, did a whole bunch of solo stuff. Um, you know, Kendall and his Heffron Drive things. So, over the years, we've been to over 100 Big Time Rush things. So that's Big Time Rush proper and um, Big Time Rush other stuff, solo, whatever. Uh, so yeah, like my whole life would have been different. I mean, not my whole life, but like this last decade would have been very different if I didn't go to that first concert and just was totally blown away. Like I, I wouldn't have ever met Kat, you know? Um, like it's crazy to think that because of these boy bands, how how many people you meet and how many places you go and and how how many incredible experiences you have just because of them they're like the catalyst you know and then I don't know it's just it's just really great um so yeah here's to you big time rush <laughs> I love you <laughs> um so yeah that's going to be it for me for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.